Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Sagittarius. All Sagittarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Sagittarius in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Wow, what does Sagittarius need to know? So this could be involving some kind of a new love, something that you're really going to love a lot. Yeah, definitely something new here. And I get that, you know what I just heard? Um, I keep my visions to myself. Like that Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac song. Uh, Dreams, Dreams, is it called? I'm hearing that song in my head. You might want to look that up. There could be a message. That mess. I love that song. Dreams. I keep my visions to myself is the, the line that started, but now I'm hearing that song in my head, that whole thing. And I know all the lyrics, but I don't feel like singing it right now, okay? But you can look it up, listen to that song. It's a really good song. And you could just look at the lyrics. There could be something in that message for you. But it's like, you are dreaming of this wish fulfillment. Like in your sleep, you are manifesting the pathway forward. Your visions, you're getting a vision here. You're keeping it to yourself. You're being very quiet about this, but you've you are meditating, like praying. You may be praying for this or meditating on this and it's coming true. It's a dream come true. It's wish fulfillment, but look, it's a dream come true. Four of swords, two of wands, nine of cups, dream come true. Dream lover, like that, oh, that's another song. Do you like to listen to music? I do, but like, I'm getting a lot of songs for you right now. That, that song called Dream Lover, So I Don't Have to Dream Alone. Uh, that's like an old song. Dream Lover, look that one up too. Not Mr. Sandman, no, the other one. Dream Lover, so I don't have to dream alone. You can search for that. It looks like you've got a new lover coming your way. And they want to talk to you about how they feel, but they're kind of nervous about it. Um, but this is changing. They've they've been keeping it to themselves. And they're getting a handle on their, like, I feel like this person has some insecurities that they're working through and it's not that serious but like they don't they're not sure that you would feel the same way for them but they're about to try anyway they've been through a lot in their past right that but they want to live a good life they want to live their life to the fullest they want to be authentic they want to tell you their own personal truth so they're waiting for a good opportunity to get this off of their chest this person is actually very charming very loving you know dreaming about this somebody's dreaming about you somebody's had a dream about you they're fantasizing about you this could be a leo strong leo here i've also got water signs cancer pisces scorpio libra gemini capricorn um aries earth signs so yeah um but this is there's something kind of unexpected about this they don't mm, okay This person's got some inhibitions. They can't just do or say whatever they want to do or say. They've been holding back. They've been waiting, assessing the situation, analyzing this, rationalizing their feelings, trying not to feel this way. They did not expect to fall in love with you. They did not expect this. It's maybe not the right time for them. There's something holding them back, but they want to take a risk. They want to do it anyway to bring about the end of the stuck or stagnant situation. And... They might have Mars in Gemini. They've got maybe Venus in Virgo, again with the water signs. You know, there's been difficulty in this person's past where things did not work out in relationships the way that they wanted to. They became attached and ended up getting heartbroken. And they're still kind of bitter about that. And so they're very like, I'm getting somebody who can be very judgmental at times and Maybe they tried to judge you. They they had a certain opinion of you. They thought that you were a certain way and they didn't really care. And now they see that they may have been wrong about you. And now they have these feelings for you and they kind of feel guilty in some ways about the way that they judged you before, but their mind is changing. They are, they're working up the courage because their life is changing for the better actually. They are becoming 
financially independent. They are becoming gainfully employed, I just heard. Okay. Um, so here you are. You've got your dreams coming true. This person has been holding back, trying to maintain self-control and self-discipline. They don't want to open up. They don't like to feel vulnerable um, because of the things that have happened in the past. But they can't ignore it anymore. And there are changes happening inside of themselves. They're, they're doing some kind of shadow work or something. And it's revealing to themselves that they are changing as well. And they're going to let go of something that has been holding them back. Their misconceptions about themselves and others. I think they're starting to realize that they were projecting onto you. This person's very intelligent. They're very sensitive. And, and like, it's hard for them to admit when they were wrong or that they were mistaken. Uh, and, and now they're coming to that point where they just can't ignore the way that they feel about you anymore. And so they're going to have to admit it to themselves or maybe even to you to apologize to you, to try to make things right, to balance things out with you. Um, yeah, something about that. And, and anything else? Empress. I was going to say nine of pentacles is pre empress energy. And then we have the empress underneath. So this is again, Venus. surrender to this um abundance coming in taking the path of least resistance opening up so they feel it's like they are they're letting go they're letting something go or letting go this is unexpected and shocking and surprising to them it's like they've been humbled yeah you kind of like this shook their ego a little bit. They had a like an ego um, death. You know what I mean? Ego death. Like they thought they were the shit and they were the prize and that they were better than you. And I don't know why they thought that, but they did. They had some kind of prejudice or preconception or they thought maybe when they met you, you were not doing as good as you are now. And they just didn't see your potential or you gave them a certain impression by the way that you speak or the way that you dress. And this person's very judgmental. They're very superficial. Yes, they are very intelligent, but they are also sometimes kind of judgmental. And sometimes they think they're smarter than they really are. And we all make mistakes. You know, we we're all flawed and we're all dealing with um Maybe we all, some of, you know, so many people have internal biases or they have preconceptions or misconceptions or they think if you dress a certain way or talk a certain way or you come from a certain place, then you must be a certain type of person who, you know, is never going to make or whatever. Like maybe when they first met you, you were going through a hard time or you were not having a good day or there was something about you that, that they didn't understand. And they jumped to conclusions about you that ended up being false. And now they've had a kind of ego break, right? Where they've, they've been humbled. And now they are letting go of those preconceptions because they realize that you're actually a really cool person. And not only are you super cool, but they actually think you're great and they love you. <laughs> now, the, it's almost like an enemies to lovers type of thing. Or it's like they've fallen in love with you and they did never expected this to happen in a million years for some reason. But they see how beautiful or attractive or handsome you are. They see how uh, successful you are, how successful you're going to be, how comfortable it is to be around you. They feel very comfortable around you. They want to spend time with you. They see that this is a really good connection. And um, how do you feel about them? The emperor, the empress. Yeah, this is like, this is a, this is funny because you feel like this is a good match. Like emperor, empress, this is a divine counterpart. So it's almost like you forgive them for not knowing and you, you're kind of amused by it because it never, it never affected you their preconceptions and misconceptions, their mistake never bothered you at all. You never cared. You were indifferent. You were unbothered, unbothered by this. And they were very impressed by you. And now it's like you two are coming to a place where you, you actually kind of like this for some reason, like you like their attitude and it doesn't bother you at all. 
whatsoever and you kind of like that they're a snob or something I don't know why but I'm getting the impression that like you like this person you agree with this person um but they were wrong about you but you respect the fact that they are willing to admit that they were wrong about you and that they are willing to kind of humble themselves before you a little bit and I don't know I get that like there may have been a mutual animosity at first that has turned into a mutual respect. And now you actually kind of are falling for each other. Yeah, two of cups in the temperance. Like over time, you are actually falling in love with each other. <laughs> I don't know. Is that kind of toxic or what? Like you tell me. But maybe they didn't realize how cool you are until they got to know you better. And... Maybe you realize that you can be the same way sometimes. You're not always right about people. You don't always have the, the right intentions or the best information. Or, or maybe you judged them too. Maybe it was both of you did that to each other. Or this is you did that to somebody. And now you realize that this is actually a really good friendship or a really good love relationship. You're actually very compatible and uh, this is a dream come true, but you didn't see it at first or you didn't see it that way at first or something like that. I don't know. This is a general reading for Sagittarius. We could get uh, personal details if you wanted to email me for a personal reading, but this is definitely a love connection. This is a dream come true. This love is a dream come true. Um, you Maybe you just didn't see each other that way at first. Somebody made a mistake or a faux pas or something and they've been corrected god corrected them spirit made sure that they were corrected and now they are humble enough or mature enough stable enough to realize that they were wrong and they feel bad about it and so now they want to make some changes to kind of like make it up to you or balance things out with you because they were wrong about you but now they see that you're really awesome and you're really beautiful and you're really handsome or you're really very attractive and actually the two of you are meant to be together you're meant to be in a partnership but maybe there was like an unconscious like aggression because they were attracted to you this this may sound contradictory but you may know what I mean like you met each other and maybe it was the wrong timing or there was something about it where because they were attractive or you were attractive to them, they got like aggressive towards you or it, it was irritating. You're too hot. Why are you here? You're bothering me. You know what I mean? It, they were like bothered by you because they were attracted to you. The aggression was coming from a place of projection. They were projecting onto you or they felt like irritated by you because you were attractive. They could smell you. You know what I mean? Like they could smell your pheromones and it was like, ah, oh, that was making them feel like almost like aggressive. But then something happened and it changed and you've realized that, that this connection is actually really good. Like you brought out something in each other that was totally unexpected. And now it's turning into like a love affair, a, like a real like love. And they love the aggression. Actually, they love that part for some reason. It's like they respect, like they respected that you weren't immediately attracted or like you weren't immediately available or there's some kind of respect here. Like they respected the way that you handled yourself. They like the sort of snobby. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this was not a turn off. It was actually a turn on. They liked the hard to get. They liked the edginess, the aggressiveness. It was like a, almost like a challenge or something but they want to get comfortable. They want to get to know you and they want you to feel relaxed so that this challenge doesn't have to go on because they don't want to fight with you every day or whatever. They don't want that kind of challenging relationship, but they liked it at first. They kind of respected those boundaries at first, but then it made them want to like, made them more interested. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I think you know what I mean. If this is for you, then you know what I mean. There was like an independent streak, but you're also very comfortable some the masculine is very masculine and strong and stable the feminine is very relaxing and comfortable after they got past that initial like 
aggravation. It was irritating at first. And you were like, why does this person irritate me so much? Why is this person so irritated by me? It's because they are attracted to you. And now that you're getting closer, you're able to sort of like um, give a healthier vent. You're venting that it's like comes from a place of passion and desire. And now that you're able to gratify each other's desire, now that you're able to like um, give an outlet for that aggression, it's it's turning into a more positive, loving passionate connection rather than just people who you know who are like upset with each other or for no real reason it's because they're attracted to you and now that you are getting more comfortable getting to know each other having this bond now that you've hooked up now that you're together like it's a dream come true you love it so okay if that you know if this is your reading then you know what i mean uh, that's what I've got for you today, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye!